Hi, I'm Jessica Ramberg for Inside the NCAA. The first round of fall governance meetings wrapped up with proposed changes that will impact student athletes, specifically some that aim to improve the recruiting environment in football. Bob Bowlesby, chair of the Football Oversight Committee and commissioner of the Big 12 Conference, discussed the new recruiting structure and early signing periods aimed at helping recruits make better informed decisions about where to go to school. We put in place some things that we think are student athlete friendly and at the same time coach friendly. Uh, most notable among those is, is uh, multiple uh, signing dates. Uh, there'll be a signing date uh, at the end of July, uh, June rather. There'll be a signing date uh, mid-December and then there'll be the regular signing date in February and it's intended to um, offer a wider array of options to student athletes and, and also to uh, offer a wider array of options to our coaches. He went on to detail how this new structure will impact the summer camp environment. We got a charge from the board that uh, we wanted to look at the entire recruiting environment and the summer environment's a big part of that. Um, we, we acknowledge that the camps and clinics are, are no longer solely about skill acquisition, they're really about recruiting. And so we put in place changes that will accommodate recruiting conversations during the summer. Jim Phillips, Chair of the Division I Council and Vice President for Athletics and Recreation at Northwestern, provides an update on discussions and next steps for the Council. What you're going to see come out is some really progressive legislation packages for our student athletes, both in time demands, which we've talked about for a while, but really lock into student athletes having a chance to do internships and, and uh, study abroad and Flex 21, where they have an ability to have some time off, off after their seasons, as well as the football package, which has been comprehensive and holistic in its approach, which will benefit student athletes, uh, recruitable student athletes and current student athletes. So it's been a wonderful three days of hard work, but I think what you're seeing is the structure working. Great committee work that has funneled up now to the council, and the council has passed forward uh, at the board's request, some really good packages that the association is going to be excited about getting their hands on. For more information on these stories and how the NCAA is supporting student-athlete success, visit NCAA.org.